Hello, this is Sir Shayan with you and welcome to The Intellectual Leaders Academy. Before I move on, I would like to tell you that this lecture is going to be in English language. Those who want to watch my lecture, the same lecture in Urdu language, the link is there up and in the description below, you can click on that. It will lead you to the Urdu lecture for the same lesson. Okay. And in today's lesson, we are going to cover the basic definition of business. We are going to cover goods and services and we are going to cover needs and wants as well. Okay. So without further delay, let's move on. All right. Here you can see the lecture obviously is about business studies. We, we are going to cover basic concepts, needs and wants and so on. Okay. What is business? Every student asks me the same question. So what is business? And when even I ask the students, they are not able to answer it properly. They always say, sir, buying and selling, sir, purchasing and selling. And that's called business. No, that is not only called business. The first definition which you see on your screen is my own definition. It's a complete definition, honestly. Making a profitable relationship with your customer in return of providing goods or services which satisfy them. This is called business. Number one, you are making a relationship with whom? With your customer. What type of relationship? It's going to be the profitable relationship. In return of what? You are providing goods or service. What are these goods or services doing? They are satisfying them. Okay, this is what a customer looks for something in the product. He wants to be satisfied and for that satisfaction, he pays. Okay, when he pays, you make your profit. That's it. So basically making a profitable relationship with your customer in return of providing goods or services which satisfy them. This is called business. Second definition, a business can be defined as an organization that provides goods or services to others who want to need them. These are the two new words which you can see and I have highlighted them with red color. The third definition, business exists to satisfy needs and wants of people. That means the reason of existence of business is to satisfy the needs and wants of people, organization or the government. So these are the basic definitions of business. Let's move on. Now, these are two things, goods and services. Okay. It seems like I think you, you, you are thinking that you already know it fine. But when I teach, I consider my students that they don't know anything because it's my responsibility to teach you everything. So let's move on. Goods and services. Goods are all tangible items that you can touch anything physically, which is, which is there that you can touch such as the car, cell phone or salt and uh, sugar, coffee. These are the things that you can touch. Getting my point? The businesses which are providing you these type of goods that you can touch, those are called goods. Services, services are those which you cannot touch. Those are, these are intangible, uh, such as doctor. You can touch the doctor, but you cannot touch his treatment. You can touch a lawyer, but you cannot touch his um, justice or whatever he does. The cleaner, the dentist, these, they all are providing you services and they all are trying to satisfy you by their services. This is the difference between goods and services. Okay. Now, one important thing. Um, this is ba the basic concept. When I check the exam papers of my students or other students as well, the major major blunder. They don't know the difference between customer and a consumer. At the place of customer where they are supposed to write down customer, they write down consumer. Where they are supposed to write down consumer, they write down customer. The, basically, these two definitions are interchangeable. These two definitions take place. So, you must know the main difference between the consumer and customer so that you should know where to write consumer and where to write customer. Let's move on. Who is called a customer? A customer is the one who buys the product. Anybody who buys the product is called a customer. But keep it in your mind, not every customer is a consumer. Why? Because, for example, if I send my driver to buy a soap for me, buy a shampoo for me, he is the customer for that shop. 
but he's not the consumer. I'm going to be consumer because I am the one who will consume it. So what is the definition of consumer? The consumer is the one who actually consumes the product. Getting my point? So the difference between customer and consumer. Okay, now my question, do you think every customer is a consumer? No, the answer is no. But every consumer is a customer. Getting my point? Every consumer is a customer, but not every customer is a consumer. So both of these definitions are like interchangeable. Okay, so please do not write customer where you are supposed to write consumer. And one more important thing when businesses develop something, when businesses make something, for example, if Mont Blanc is making the glasses or anything, even if, if this company is making the pen, they prepare, they make these things to satisfy the consumer, not the customer. Consumer is the asset. They want to satisfy their consumers. Getting my point? So when they develop anything, when they develop a product, when they develop a service, the main person whom they target to satisfy is the consumer, not the customer. Okay? The customer can be anything, anybody. Let's move on. Okay, now this is a concept of need and want. This is very basic concept. If you open the dictionary, you will find the definition for need and want uh, approximately similar to each other. And somewhere you will find them, um, the synonym to each other. But in business and in economics, these two are totally different from each other. Now, what are they? Need. Needs are said to be the essentials of life. Essentials of life means that you cannot live without. You have to, have to, have to, have to have them. Getting my point? Okay, the basic necessities of life that you cannot live without. For example, drinking water. You need to drink water, food, shelter, clothes. You need to have it. If you don't have it, you're going to die. You need to have it. These are basically the needs. What are called wants? Now, when you have got money, you become rich. So you don't only look for a clean drinking water. You may look for the even drinking water, which is actually a luxury. Okay, so let's move on. What are called wants? Wants are the goods or services that people like to have. It's not mandatory that they will die if they don't have it. No, wants are something that people want to have. These are the luxuries. They are not the essentials of life. And keep it in your mind, wants are always unlimited. There is no limit for wants. Okay. Example, luxury car. One luxury car, you have enjoyed one Bentley. Now you want to have a Rose Rice, for example. One, no, the model of new Rose Rice. And every year, the new Rose Rice, new car, luxury car. So wants are unlimited and these all are called your luxuries. Okay, latest cell phone. Every year there are new cell phones in the market. People need to have them. So luxury houses and so on. So anything which is not your need and that is actually a luxury that's called a want. Okay, now it is activity time. Whatever Sashan teaches, Sashan always does an activity at the end of that topic and not gonna teach too much. Now bring one paper and a pencil or a pen and keep it in front of you. We are going to have only 30 second activity, not too long, but it, this activity is very important for you to do. So let's move on the activity and the activity is, you have got 30 seconds to write five needs and five wants and your time starts right now. Time up. Stop writing. Let's see what Sir Shayan has done. Okay, I wrote toothpaste. Yes, toothpaste is actually the need. You need to have it. If you don't brush your teeth, so you can have, <laughs> you need to have toothpaste. Okay, clean drinking water. Yes, you need to have a clean drinking water, food to eat, shelter to live, and clothes to cover your body or decent clothes. Decent clothes are basically your needs. Wants, rose rice, luxury car, my God, my favorite. 
Holidays abroad, holidays in Thailand, Switzerland, Morocco, Amsterdam. These are all called wands. Expensive clothes. No, 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 no. I need to have H&M. I need to have New Yorker. I need to have Elsie Walkie Marks and Spencers. These are all luxuries and they are categorized as wands. Dinner at five star hotel. We can eat from any local restaurant as well. But when we need to din do the dinner at a five star hotel or an expensive hotel, that's called one. So I believe today I have covered with you the basic definition of business. I have covered the difference between goods and services. And I have also covered needs and wants. And I believe you would have understood this in details. I'm not going to make my lecture too long. But I think you would have learned something. If you haven't subscribed my channel yet, I request you to, to do now. The reason is very simple. We are going to cover everything. We are going to cover from grade 9 till masters, all the topics of business and economics. Okay. So if you are there, so I will be motivated. I will feel motivated. Okay. So take care of yourself. Thank you so much for watching.